Okay, so first we're going to make a slip knot on our hook and then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four and then we're going to join into that first chain to make a ring with a slip stitch there. Okay, now we're ready for round one. So we'll chain three to start. One, two, three. This counts as our, our first double crochet. We now want to put 11 double crochet into that ring. So yarn over, hook goes into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Show you again, yarn over, into that centre there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you now we've got one, two, three, so you need to continue around until you've worked a total of 12 double crochet into the ring and I will meet you back when I get to the end of the round. Okay, so here we are at the end of the round, so now we've finished that round off by putting a slip stitch into the top of that chain three which can be a bit fiddly, there we go, and then we want to fasten off this colour. Make sure you fasten off securely, don't want anything coming undone. Okay, and I like to weave my ends in as I go along, so I just weave them for, in the back loops just for a few stitches one way. And then I like to go back the other way. And then once you work the next round on top of that, that securely locks that end in place and that won't be going anywhere. Okay, so we're ready to start round two. So first we will join our new yarn in the space between any space between the stitches so you want to put your hook between the stitches pull your yarn through and then chain three this counts as a double crochet this is going to be a beginning popcorn stitch so now we're going to put two double crochet into that same space one and two okay so now we're going to form our popcorn stitch so we'll just pull up the loop a little bit so we don't lose that and then we take our hook out and we're going to insert our hook into the top of the chain three and then we're going to pick that loop up back onto the hook pull the yarn tight and then pull that loop through like so. And then we need to chain two. Okay, so now we're going to do our next popcorn stitch into the next space between the stitches. So now this is a normal standard popcorn, so we're going to put three double crochet into that space. One, two, and three. Then we'll pull that loop up. Now we're going to insert our hook into the top of the stitch, like so. Pick that loop back up onto a hook, pull the yarn, and then finish off slipping that stitch through. And then we'll chain two. So I'll show you this stitch one more time. Three double crochet into the space. A hook through, grab that loop, pull it through and chain two. So we're going to continue working a popcorn stitch and a chain two into each of these spaces and I will meet you back up when I get to the end of the round. Okay so here we are at the end of the round. Your daisy should look something like this and we're going to finish off the round by putting a slip stitch into the top of that 
beginning popcorn. Like so, and then we're going to fasten off and securely weave in our end. Okay, so we're ready to start round three. We're going to join our new colour into any chain space. So just pull your yarn through and chain three. This counts as the first double crochet. We now want to put two more double crochet into that same space. So that's one and two. Into the next space, we're going to put three double crochet. One, two, and three. And into the following space, we're going to start working our corner. So we're going to work three trebles, chain two, and three trebles all into that same space. So for the treble, we yarn over twice. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you want two more trebles. Then we're going to chain two. And then three more trebles into that same space. Okay, so that's our first corner made. So we're now going to continue and put three double crochet into the next space. One, two, and three. Three double crochet into the next space. One, two, and three. Three. And so we're ready to work our second corner. So in the next space we're going to put three trebles, chain two and three trebles. And we're going to continue working that all the way around. So we will have a corner, two groups of three double crochet and then a corner and we'll keep that working that all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the round. Okay so here we are, we've worked all the way around our square. We ended with a corner into that last space and now we go to just join into the top of the chain three with a slip stitch to finish off our square. So now all we need to do is fasten off and weave in that end. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sure you can think of lots of lovely things to make with your granny squares. I think these would make a really lovely baby blanket. Well, that's all for me for now. Take care now. Bye-bye.